We're running out of road! Not exactly a stealth exit, boys. Let's move! I thought that the end of the war would mean an end to losing more of our brothers. But I was wrong. We can't just walk away. Not with the Empire imprisoning the kid. Secure her in a cell. Omega's been waiting for us a long time. Our mission... It's not over yet. There is nothing of greater importance to secure the future of this empire. Whatever is needed to accomplish this goal, you will have it. They are coming. Okay. For all of you. Give us a real challenge! Everyone, down! We're not big on following orders. I wasn't planning on killing you. But you're making it very tempting. Damn, okay, three episode premiere in a month. Is today the 21st? Or 20, 20, 22nd. So I guess Dave Filoni read Dark Disciple and was like, Nah, we don't need her to be dead. Which honestly I'm happy about because she's one of the coolest characters as a female. There needs to be a little better correspondence with their teams regarding the stories that they tell. So if they're gonna wreck, like the, the thing that really caught my eye, which I know is a small thing, but I'm a, I'm a sweaty. So in the Vader comic, they burned Yoda's lightsaber. Masamita took it, he threw it in the furnace, and he burned it uh, pretty much at like the celebration after Order 66, or kind of like during. And then we see it in the Book of Boba Fett. So I was super confused why they don't really stick to the actual canon of what's in the books and what's in the comics but i guess it doesn't matter so who cares like i to be real and this is the way george saw star wars he sees them as one to six everything after that is just extra stuff right so all of his comics all of the books dark horse stuff when george was involved those were all just extra ancillary fun stuff uh, kind of just you know extending the story he said this several times and it's documented that you know tam star wars is one to six in the clone wars i think dave kind of feels the same way where he's like you know what i'm going to tell the stories i want to tell with the characters i want to tell and i just don't want to have to adhere to some books and stuff like that which to me i'm down for because asajj ventress is a really sick character because she was in the dark side she was with dooku she was in the clone Wars, and now she's more so light, I guess you could say, and changed her ways a little bit. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fans that are pissed because, I mean, for years, Dark Disciple has been a great book, and in it, you know, she did have a good death. So she sacrificed herself for Quinlan Voss. So this means that her and Quinlan could meet again in the movies because they're both around. So interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, as for the story and the breakdown, I mean, I'll probably have to do that later tonight and watch it properly. Yeah, I think this season could be exceptional. I think it could be the best one. The last few were great, but they had some slow moments, of course, with some filler stuff that I wasn't too big a fan of. But I think, um, I think it could be good. 